other semifinal in Class A, a rematch of a game that went to overtime a month ago, Elkhorn South and Kearney. The Storm won that meeting in October 28-21. Higher stakes this time around. Let's check in at Elkhorn Stadium, Bearcats and Storm. The Bearcats actually get on the board first. They end their first drive with a 40-yard field goal by James Dakin and makes it 3-0 Kearney. Elkhorn South forced two fumbles in the first half alone. This one recovered by Coy Wilkie, but the Storm unable to convert any of those into points. Bearcats led 3 to nothing at halftime. Early second half, then Elkhorn South would tie the game. Carson Crouch, the son of the former Heisman Trophy winner, knocks through a 20-yard field goal, and this ties the game at 3-3. Later in the third quarter, the Storm take their first lead. Cole Ballard with some tough running in this one here. Scores from a yard out. Storm take a 10-3 lead. Carney would have a few chances late. This would be their last chance here. It's, it's their quarterback Pearson looking to throw, but he gets sacked by future Husker Teddy Prohaska. He throws up the bones as Elkhorn South wins 10-3. Uh, before I got here, we were kind of a powerhouse in Class B. And uh, you know when we when we knew that we were going to Class A, we were, our senior class got together and we said, "Hey, we're going to be the team to take us there to state championship." Those opportunities are so rare. It's when everybody starts off the year fighting and scrapping and having a dream of going there. Now it's down to just two in Class A, and uh, I couldn't be prouder of our, of our our team, all the sacrifices they made to get here tonight. So the stage is set next Friday night. 10 and 1 Elkhorn South taking on 11 and 0 West Side for the Class A state championship. That game is at Phelps Field. Class B, Plattsmith looking for its first trip to the state final in 41 years. They're in Aurora. Blue Devils spot the Huskies 14 points, but working on a comeback. After an Aurora fumble, Christian Manises cashes in on the turnover, makes it 14-6. Then in the fourth, Jack Alexander with the deep ball here. Adam Egger reels it in, but the Blue Devils miss the two-point conversion. They fall 21-12, ending the year at 8-3. Elkhorn at Hastings. Hastings in their first state semifinal in 20 years. Great start here for the Antlers. Aiden Young takes the handoff, shakes a tackler. He's in for the touchdown. It's 7-0 Elkhorn. Hastings would actually take the lead with a, a defensive touchdown, but Elkhorn comes right back. Hayden Steck in from five yards out. Elkhorn wins 33-28. So that final is set as well. Aurora at Elkhorn at Elkhorn Stadium next Friday for the Class B championship. In C1 semifinal action, Carney Catholic and Adams Central. Patriots up late. Stars trying to come back. Future Husker Heinrich Harburg hits Logan O'Brien, but this is not enough as Carney Catholic falls to Adams Central late in that one. Final score. 34-29. Class C2, UTAN and Archbishop Bergen from Fremont. Bergen quarterback Koa McIntyre rolling, finding Jarrett Boggs for the three-yard touchdown. Knights up 7-0. That's your score at halftime. Coming out of the break, McIntyre looking to extend the lead. The nice bomb there to Cade McIntyre, 46-yard gain. Koa would sneak it in from there to put Bergen up 14-0. Utan answers. Caden Egger caps a drive with a six-yard touchdown run. That cuts the deficit to 14-7. But Koa McIntyre has the last word. Keeps this one by himself. Up the middle. He's gone. 80-yard touchdown run. Fremont Bergen is on to the finals, winning this one 21-7 over Utan. Other C2 semifinal, defending champ Oakland Craig at Ord. Shane to clears up 28-14. Oakland Craig goes to the aerial attack. Grady Gatewood hits Carson Thompson in stride to pick up the 38 yards. That sets up a one-yard Caden Nelson touchdown. But Ord never gives up the lead. They win 38-28. In Iowa, St. Albert meeting Grundy Center in the Class A semifinal. Falcons get on the board first. Sam Wilbur lining up for a 46-yard field goal. Would have been good from 50. This makes it 3-0 St. Albert. But the Falcon defense had no answer for Logan Nake. The Grundy Center quarterback scored three touchdowns. He ran for 200 yards. Falcons fall 34-6.